what's up guys we're here welcome back to the channel so today i wanted to bring you a necro minion leveling guide now i do know that everybody is up on necro right now i just finished like playing my sork and i still have some things to revisit but we started a new character and we have a necro at level 57 so i thought i'd bring uh like the showcase and just kind of it's incredibly powerful we all know that minions is insane but I'm just now playing the character, so I thought I'd take you along the journey with me, just like we're going to do for each and every single character. So let's go over the skills, the uh, gear, and what you need to get the build going, okay? So, Necro Minions, all right. Uh, initially, I did Reap, but you could do Bone Splinters when you're first starting off as your generator. I do think I do think Bone Splinters is probably a better one for this as opposed to uh, uh, Reap, but you can use them. Reap is really good to help generate... Um, uh, what is it corpses so that way you can spawn your minions once you start to unlock them But bone splinters is also very good just to help really generate a lot of essence Next we're going into blight all the way into supernatural blight you and your minions deal 20% multiplicative damage to enemies within a blight Super super powerful although I still prefer sever but blight it's hard to ignore that 20% multiplicative damage It's insane um, Then we have huge flesh chance to generate corpses then we're going to come down. We're grabbing spiked armor because thorns apply to you and your minions. We got skeletal warrior mastery to max out the damage and life of our skeletal warriors. We're doing corpse explosion into blighted corpse explosion. This is going to be a darkness skill and it re releases just shadow damage over time, which is great. Shadow dot damage this season is insanely powerful. So we go with this now to help with our, our essence issues. We have grim harvest consuming a corpse generates six essence. And then fuel by death, we deal increased multiplicative damage when we consume a corpse. Now, down to our curse abilities. We are going to be doing Decrepify with Horrid. Okay, we don't really need that Horrid. We don't have any cooldowns. <clears throat> so we're going to do Horrid. So that way, us and our minions, uh, when we hit somebody who's been Decrepified uh, below 10% health, they just instantly die. It doesn't work on bosses, but this is great for just clearing content. Then we're maxing out Amplified Damage for more damage against curse enemies. We got Death's Embrace for more damage. Uh, from close enemies the, and they deal 12% less damage to us then we got death's approach that increased move speed which I think is nice skeletal mage mastery increased damage and life of skeletal mages then we're going to come down and get corpse tendrils I'm so glad that the bug is is fixed uh, but we got play corpse tendrils this is just going to help us make uh, the enemies vulnerable to deal more damage then we're maxing out necrotic uh, care I'm not even going to say that word uh, when corpses are formed, you fortify. I can tell you right now, um, trying to have as much life as humanly possible makes you super tanky and almost unkillable. So right now at 57, I have 4,500 life, but I haven't done anything on my gear. I've done no rerolls. I've done nothing. I've just put gear on and we're already at 4,500 life, which is pretty nice. Um, so it just fortifies you instantly. So when a corpse is formed, you and your, or by us or our minions, we fortify. Insane. Uh, then we're going to go down to Golem Mastery, increase the life and damage of Golem. <clears throat> then we're taking three and inspiring, inspiring Leader for increased crit strength, uh, strike chance for us and our minions. We got Hellbent Commander. We deal 45, or our minions deal 45% more damage when we're close to them. We got one point in Bonded in Essence. And then we have deaths in uh, death's defense with increased armor and resistance to elements. We're only doing one in bonded because every eight seconds our skeletal priests heal. But with the sacrilegious ring, we end up recasting a lot anyway. So this just helps. Key passive, Kaylin's edic. You and your minions gain three percent attack speed for each. Or excuse me, our minions gain three percent attack speed for each active minion. And as you can see here, we have six skeletal warriors, five skeletal majors, which is eleven plus the golem, which is 12. So 12 times three, 36% increased attack speed, insane. Okay, so that's our skills, guys. Let's go over the gear. Now, right now at this high level, I do have a bunch of legendary items. However, the great thing about this build when you're leveling up is you don't really need a lot of powers. Okay, this, this build, even if you play it just this way with no uniques, the build is incredibly strong. Now, the Sacrilegious Ring really does help us out because it allows us to not have to cast our Corpse Tendrils, Corpse Explosion, as well as just Ray Skeleton, which is fantastic. So it allows us just to do Decrepify and Blight, and we could just run around and just have to manage that. 
Now, uh, when you start getting powers, I would probably say that some of the ones you want to look for is reanimation. If you can get this early, this is super powerful. Your, your, your minions gain increased damage while alive up to 60% on the amulet, which is super powerful. Um, Frenzy Dead is also what I'm running. Each time one of those summon minions damages an enemy, they gain attack speed, which is good. This isn't required, but this does help. Uh, a phobic. Ap ap I, I think I said that wrong. Um, uh, skeletal priests empower your skeletal warriors to deal shadow damage, and they do have a chance to stun. This isn't required during the leveling process, but once you get it, definitely put it on. Uh, we have hardened bones here. You and your minions have increased damage reduction, which is good. Not, again, not required, but does help with survivability. Uh, grasping veins, 100% acquired. As soon as you can get this, throw this on. Corpse tendrils, you get the crit strike chance and bonus crit strike damage. Uh, and then we have occult domination. This is huge for the build. Your maximum number of skeletal warriors and mages are both increased by two, which is a lot for a lot of the other skills and abilities that we're using for the build. Uh, and then in our helmet, as soon as you can get it after you unlock Golem, Hulking is super strong. Uh, your Golem has a chance to reduce its active cooldowns by two seconds and 4% chance to spawn a corpse each time it damages an enemy with a normal attack. This thing is absolutely insane. Now, as you guys all know, during the leveling process, Necromancer is by far one of the easiest. But I'm just going to showcase like how strong the minions are. And I, again, you guys know this for anybody who's going to watch this video. But the build is just insane for the leveling process. Uh, it's very simple and easy to play. Even if you were to take Golem away and you're using Bone Splinters, um, the managing of Essence does become an issue um, at one point. But... You just it just takes some time to get used to playing the build because I kept running out of essence and I was like, why am I running out of essence so much? Um, and that's because I was just spawning blight and I don't and you don't need to do that in this in this like we're even gonna go like ten levels or we can't even go ten levels up, but you don't need to do that. You're basically playing a support necromancer and you literally just let your minions do whatever they want. Now, I want to make a few comments about. I do love that Necromancer finally has minions that's super strong. Uh, sweet, they're finishing the thing. So let's run, run over there. I love how strong minions is, and it's good that it's in this place. And I really do enjoy Necromancer finally having it. This is good. Uh, however, for me personally, the play style for me is not as fun. Um, because you're just kind of running around. And you're like hitting, like you're cursing here and there. And then you're throwing blight here and there. Um, I think this build will be a lot better for bossing, in my opinion, as far as clearing. You're incredibly slow. The minion AI is definitely a little different than I would expect. But with that said, like, you can't go wrong. Neko Minions is the best builds in the game right now for Diablo 4. It's the best class currently uh, in Diablo 4. Like, it, it's kind of like scary how strong the uh, Necromancer is, and I love it because the Bard meta was getting a little old, so I'm happy to see Necromancers here just rising to the top. But as far as the leveling process, guys, you can take this entire build all the way to level 100. Just let the minions kill things. You can use your Golem's active ability, which is just going to one-shot a lot of things in this game. So as you're leveling and doing your Paragon board and all that stuff, um, minions is just overwhelmingly powerful so yeah guys i wanted to bring you this quick little leveling guide because as we're doing here on the channel when we start a new class and we're doing new builds i want to take you guys along that journey so if you're playing with me you guys can you know see the development of your character along the way so uh yeah this build is is very easy to get online it's very easy to play uh and you just it's it's, a, it's that relaxed fit, you know? You're just kind of running around, letting uh, the minions just do their thing, killing stuff. I can tell you that last night when I was playing and just farming the uh, the Blood Maiden here, I was, like, in my inventory just looking at powers. You know, when I, when I finally hit 50 and I, I started doing my Paragon board, I was like, man, you know, I'm used to dying all the time when I do that. Like, it's a meme on my channel. But uh, the minions just protect me, and I can just stand here and do whatever I want. It's not a big deal. I could leave, come back, and the minions will just dominate everything. So, yeah, guys. Uh, this is the leveling build that I'm using. The link will be down in the description below or on Mobilytics on my profile. So, make sure to go check that out if you guys are just now switching to Necromancer. Um, 
Definitely check it out. Minions is absolutely insane. So enjoy doing that, guys. Uh, like the video. Let's get this over 50 likes. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys think about Necro Minions. I know you guys are all going to love it. But are we sick of the Necro meta yet? I say no. So don't forget to subscribe, guys. And as always, stay gaming. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.